E N T B. What does that spell? Churro! <laughs> what? So welcome to a Ever Never TV where we're all together for the first time Yay. in so long. <laughs> Everyone's years. been somewhere. June was in Japan. Tell us what you were doing, June. I was all over the UK and Ireland for my birthday. I rode the Hogwarts Express. I <laughs> drove on the left for a week. <clears throat> I think it'll let us into the UK after Brexit. No! <laughs> the movie is supposed to shoot there, and I feel like, tell me if this is right, if there's an economic crash, doesn't that mean we get a higher budget? Your dollar will count for more. More! In so, the UK. Yeah, so we should root for Brexit, then the movie will be more expensive. <laughs> no! Ravon, what were you doing? You've been gone forever. Okay, you made a movie. I made a movie. It was at a lot of festivals. Festivals. It's still Ooh. in a lot of festivals. And no one can see it because it's inappropriate. It's bad. <laughs> Although you can read the reviews and they're like, This movie's okay. <laughs> <laughs> this movie's great. This movie's bad. So we have a, a good middle ground. But I miss you guys and I miss Ever Never TV. Oh, well, you. Congrats, you are you. back. And there's a potential that we'll be doing the Office Smackdown again, in which case you'll see June, me, and Ramon dancing. Because <laughs> we know how it was here. <laughs> Okay, so we have a lot to get through. So first things first, um, we'd like to thank Jamie for taking over the channel for a month and making us some like, really wonderful episodes. It was really fun. It was a month where June was in Japan and I was recovering from surgery. Jamie had to like basically like pretend like everything was okay. And during that time, some crazy news happened as well with like the book six title being announced. There's a book six? <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. I'm, I'm not. Is that it? Why is he still on this show? Do you, you guys have any uh, I don't know, ideas about what the cover for book six might be? Like the title is One True King. Isn't there a contest coming up where kids have to make their own cover? Yes, so you can go enter that contest if you go to schoolforgoodnewable.com and um, as always, uh, upload it to the Reader's Gallery as a JPEG or PNG. That's uh, two I'm still on Crystal of Time! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, isn't the cover already... Speaking of the cover, Ramon, if you had to guess what's going to be on the Book 6 cover, what do you think it'll be? Oh no, who's don't do be, this to me! Who's going to be at the top? It's called One True King. Who's going to be at the top? It's going to be S <gasps> Agatha! <laughs> you Ooh. don't think it's a like weird move to put two girls at the top of a cover for a book called One True King? Nah! Hmm. Now's the time, hashtag revolution. What do you think, John? Hashtag it's about time! I don't know, I feel like Yakubo's gonna come up with something brilliant none of us will think of, but it'd be cool if there was kind of like a fragmented mirror where there are pieces of all the different possible oh, kings. Mm. Mm. See, why you gotta show me up, John? <laughs> <laughs> okay, June, what do you think it is? It has to be Tedros and Rianne, because they're the ones battling right now. I don't know if they're gonna be like pulling at the crown. Between the three of you, no one's quite right, but one of you's close. So we'll see. I've seen it. It's almost done. <laughs> the cover's gonna be coming out on Entertainment Weekly, first week of October. We'll give you the exact date coming out. So yeah, get working on those covers. We're really looking forward to looking at them. Leading into some contest winner um, announcements, we're wrapping up our Draw Dougie into SGE contest. This contest was ridiculous. <laughs> All the like, scenes of SGE that you guys drew Dougie into. We picked some of our favorites, and uh, to announce the grand winner, we're gonna have a special guest take care of things. Let's uh, go over to Sophie. Oh, I missed you. Oh, I missed you too. Yes, you guys will take care of me. I know. Like you do. I know. Is so many, even though he created me. So we looked at all the entries that you guys Wait. entered. We have to say hello. I haven't been on this channel in so long. I need a new haircut. B, I just got some new eyelashes. C, I need some new lips, dick, and D, you can proceed now. Okay, so.
So Sophie's still feeling herself, in case you guys are wondering. A little bit. But we looked at all the entries you guys submitted for the Dougie Art Contest. It was great. You're always so creative. It was so hard to narrow it down, but... There are some of you that weren't so great. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't talk about you. <laughs> but I'm just being honest. These are the runner-ups. First up is Ellie West X, and it's the book one cover with Dougie's face over everyone else's faces and oh. the bone bridge. But why is my face missing? <laughs> because the whole point of the contest was to get Dougie's face in there. Who's Dougie? <laughs> the character who's replacing you. <laughs> the, next the next one is Daisy of Foxwood, who drew artwork of Dougie interrupting Agatha and Sophie kissing. Um, this is how I, do you I, how do you feel about this? I, I, I don't think. really have any comment. Also, why is Agatha taller than me? <laughs> Clearly, I am the taller one. Clearly, she's dipping you. Uh, yeah. Well, I am a princess, I guess. I yeah. approve. So the next one is Sophie Agatha Tedros for life. And it is the wish fish stampede with Princess Uma running away with Dougie under her arm. That's adorable. Although your name handle would imply that you're going to draw a picture of me. Uh, you might be there. Oh, right there. yes, I see myself. <laughs> Much better. I just pointed to the bear. <laughs> you better be careful. And then the first runner up is Sparkly Fairy123 with this picture of Princess Dougie. Oh, what's a dog? Which is so precious. Look. See, that is a dog for me. That is exactly the right kind of dog for me. Dougie's hair flowing in the wind. Flowing in the wind. And the high heels. Flowers, high heels. Mm -hmm. A glowing spirit about him or her or them or they. And then finally, the grand prize winner is, drum roll please. Aisling 360! Yay! And her art was of Dougie vomiting at the sight of Tedros and Agatha kissing. I totally approve of that. That is probably the most disfavored thing I've ever seen before. Good job! Somehow I had a feeling you would like that one. I love it. You get 20... What are, what are, you getting, what are we giving them? We are giving them a Ever Never TV swag pack. Wait, what's in this pack? It's all kinds of goodies, like Dougie shirt, buttons that say whether you're an ever or never. Why not just a handshake? <laughs> I don't think you can mail a handshake. Sure, you just get a post-it and then write handshake. Okay. <laughs> this show is going down the tubes. Oh, hi. <laughs> Creator, where are you going? Wait. That's right, leave. <laughs> Congratulations to the grand winner. Please send us an email at evernevertvchannel at gmail.com. I'm sure some of you are curious about the results of the giveaway. We will announce the grand winner of the giveaway and the other tier 3 and tier 2 winners next week at the end of another special episode. Then we have a few uh, last housekeeping things. First, um, I am doing absolutely zero events uh, this year and most of next year. You won't see me on the road until Book 6 comes out in June of 2020. That's almost a year of no events, except for one. And that is uh, an event I'm doing on September 15th at 3 o'clock p.m. at Sugar Hill Museum in New York City. I'm going to read an original short story, and then there's songwriters on site who are going to improvise a live song response to my <laughs> what? story. Also, remember that if you are a boy who watches Ever Never TV and loves the series, we're looking for some fun reaction videos, specifically for this montage. Girls, you'll get your chance soon enough. So the video is focused on um, everything action and adventure in School for Good and Evil. After you have your video, you could upload it to a private YouTube link and send it to us. And yep. then we'll put it in our big montage and it'll be part of our fan celebration that's gonna be uh, released a little bit later. Okay. Yay! We'll see you guys next week. <laughs> see you guys next week.